earned my science degrees as an evolutionist. And I, I taught evolution. I believed it. Uh, of course, I wasn't exposed to any alternative. And so I simply accepted that evolution was true because it was the only thing that I was taught. Um, and I would go on to earn my, my science degrees as an evolutionist. I taught it from the seventh grade through the university level. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the age of 27, I did what any good scientist ought to do. Um, a good scientist does not seek knowledge. A good scientist seeks truth. And so at the age of 27, in a search for truth, I was addressing the question, having been around Christianity all my life, never in it, but around it, because if you were born in 1946, as I was, and, and raised in the 40s, 50s, 60s, Christianity was much stronger in the United States in those days. And so, you you know, even a person like myself knew something about Jesus Christ, Mary, Joseph, you know, those kind of things. Um, but at the age of 27, uh, I decided to decide for myself whether Jesus was telling the truth. Because if he wasn't, I was going to move on. Um, you know, it's very simple. Uh, there can only be one true religion. And so... I checked Christianity first because it was the one I knew at least a little bit about. And so I simply looked at, you know, was Jesus telling the truth? Was he the son of God? Was he, uh, you know, co-creator with the Father and the Holy Spirit? Um, and so I did a six-month study uh, to determine whether Jesus was telling the truth. Did, did he, in fact, even live, much less was he telling the truth? And after six months of studying history, both in the Bible and outside of the Bible, I became convinced that he was telling the truth. And, of course, if you are a good scientist, and if you do seek truth, and you find truth, then you have to accept it, whether you like it or not. And so people come to Christ in a, a spectrum. Um, they come from almost entirely nothing but emotion, but a little intellect, to almost entirely intellect with very little emotion. And that was the end of the spectrum that I represent. That I came to faith in Christ almost entirely from an intellectual standpoint with a very small amount of emotion. Now, I, I got a lot more emotional about it later, but that's how I came. And of course, when I made that decision after six months, uh, there was a lot of things I didn't know. And being a scientist, um, you know, we kind of expect a checklist at the back of the book, and there isn't one. And so um, I made an appointment with a local church uh, associate pastor, kind enough to accept my call, and we made an appointment. And I went over there and I explained to him what had happened to me in a bit longer, uh, you know, way. And and he looked at me and he said, "So your decision is firm." And I looked back at him and said, "If you knew me," which he didn't. I said, "But if you knew me, you wouldn't even ask the question." And that kind of took him back. And uh, he said, okay. And he opened up the Bible and he said, well, you need to make it public. And it showed me scripture. And I said, okay, that's there. He said, you need to be baptized in water and showed me scripture. And I said, okay, it's there. And then a few weeks I was baptized. And, but of course that just made me a saved evolutionist. Mm 